to be winner Wonderland, Michaela Singleton. News 10 ABC. Yep, see, we told you that was a bit amusing. We like that. All right, Tim is here now with a look at our forecast. And, Tim, we're enjoying these warmer temperatures right now. How much longer? Enjoying the warmer temperatures, but you know what? I'm with Michaela. My daughter said last weekend, let's start decorating. <laughs> so we got a couple things out let's in the yard. Let's do Thanksgiving first. I'll take the other point. Let's do Thanksgiving first, and then we'll start decorating. I'd be remiss in stating that she's had her playlist on her iPod ready since two weeks before yeah, Halloween. I think you're suggesting the daughter gets her way, right? With Tim, anyway. No, she kind of yeah. father, follows her father's footsteps. <laughs> Me and my sister did the same thing at her <laughs> age. In the meantime... You know what? It was a fantastic afternoon, a great feel to the air, cooling off, and a good night for a fire. Right, Pat? Beautiful night in Rotterdam. And if you didn't end up kicking up the grill or building a fire, how about the fire in the sky with the sunset tonight? This looks fabulous. Thank you to Mary Lee. Out in Troy, and those colors are just Simply fantastic. In the meantime, it's 54 here in Albany. Some of us have dropped into the mid-30s because your wind has dropped off with a clear sky. Glens Falls, Saratoga, a lot of you around the Tri-County region of Glens Falls. Some of you in the high terrain of Southern Vermont and also in the Catskills. South wind, though, Hudson to Albany is keeping us in the 50s. All right. It's been mild and breezy most of the afternoon. The breeze dropping off in a number of locations, as you can see locally. Cold front, that'll be coming through just before, just after midnight. And behind the boundary, we find colder air. 30s, 40s, that's what we're getting into. I know you're looking at the teens. But nonetheless, the trend with temperatures as we head through the weekend, highs, after being near 60 today, we'll do the mid and upper 40s tomorrow. And then struggle, struggle to hit 40 on Sunday. Your future cast forward tonight. There goes the boundary sweeping through. Skies will be partly cloudy. Heading through time for Saturday. Partly sunny, a bubble of high pressure moving on in. And skies will actually be mainly clear tomorrow night. As the temps drop and then we cloud over on Sunday, that sets the stage for that chilly afternoon on the second day of the weekend. Up to 49 at Clifton Park tomorrow, 47 at Averill Park, 49 at Selkirk, 48 Voorheesville, 48 here in Albany. We make our way up into the heart of the Adirondacks for tomorrow, Indian Lake to 37, Warrensburg at 44. We'll also do 44 in Northville and 46 as you make your way back into the city of Amsterdam. Catskills for tomorrow. Up to 44 at Cobleskill, 48 at Greenville, Hunter. A high of 46, back on the valley floor, lower 50s. Catskill down into the city of Kingston. And then for central and southern Vermont, Washington County, the Berkshires on into Columbia and Dutchess counties. Mid 40s here in the high terrain of southern Vermont, 46 Granville, 47 at Pittsfield, and at Otis, 50 at Sheffield, and at Kinderhook, 51 at Hudson. Here's your forecast as we head through tonight. Partly cloudy, mild, down to 42, a little bit above average for this time of the year. For tomorrow, the afternoon high, pretty much spot on where we should be, partly sunny and seasonable. Set a forecast. An afternoon rain or snow shower on Sunday, 41. Some morning rain showers Monday, otherwise turning partly sunny, 48. Chilly Tuesday, big travel day, quote unquote, Wednesday, afternoon showers, and we may see a few showers for Thanksgiving Day Thursday next week. Tim? All right. Thank you, Tim.